Hello everybody, it is Nintendo Games back with another video. Nice day for videos, so I've made a lot today. And this is my overall review of Splatoon 2. Came out the other day, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a full review. Let's start basically. Basically, this was uh, the sequel to the best game on the Wii U by a million times because no other game compared to this. And they really hit it hard on the sequel. They wanted to go all in, get the sales, and boy, did they do that. So let's begin with the story mode. I like the interesting plot on how the story mode has Callie and Marie Squid Sisters having trouble with each other, and then the fact that Callie gets kidnapped after staying away from Marie. But I'm going to stop right there because I don't want to give away any spoilers to those of you who haven't done the hero mode. So next off is the turf war mode. Turf war, turf war mode is separate from the ranked battle modes. And this is a three minute match where you have to cover more turf than the other team. Sounds basic, right? Well, if other teams splatting you, you, you can be stopped at your... F stopped and still be raging at a loss of words <laughs> okay back 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 um, sidetrack so um basically you can get splatted a lot you can still win turf war is a game of determination and one simple push one simple kill can turn over the game map control is so much controlling the middle section of any map is crucial to winning turf war once you reach level 10 you unlocked ranked battle and eh, personally i love ranked battle it is a great way to level up because they give you more perks for playing like you survive up here great job i'll give you 1500 for a knockout and you go nice so we're going to go ahead and start off with the first ranked mode, which is Splat Zones. Splat Zones is where you control a small zone in any stage. It's just pit in the middle of the course, and you have to control it for 100 seconds. There's a catch. The other team's, of course, trying to control it. And if you control it and you lose control, and they take control, you get a penalty. So, like, you may th be thinking you want to get out to an early lead. I'd rather flank the opponents and let them take control first because knowing you take control back, they're already down and then they're in the penalty. So if you're like up four people to three people and they're in a 17 point penalty, you know you can have some room for error. But when things do get out of hand, like the other team is just way better and they can push all the way up. This, there is no really clear objective to this game mode, and that's why I like it. There is nothing to grab. You just have to keep the zone in. I think the main objective is, is pushing the, the other team back where they cannot move forward. So we're going to move on to our next game mode, which is Tower Control. Tower Control is really fun, especially with the checkpoints. It gives you guys as a defense to regroup and re regroup and, you know, get back together so they do not just run away. So the biggest problem with Splatoon 1's Tower Control is, is that you get to 60, and then they have a push, and, like, you make one error, and they're gone. They're, they're going to knock you out. Being an A minus player in Splatoon number one, that happened to me a lot. Now, another thing is, is with tower control is, this is the game mode where you're gonna get a lot, the most splats. I really thought about it, but this game is always going to be a last, long lasting game. Knockouts are pretty tough. Now we move on to our final game mode, my personal favorite, Rainmaker. You basically shoot this old religious fish thing i don't know i forget what it's about but you shoot it and it'll drop this orb thing and it'll blow up 
And you have to take it all the way to a podium in the middle of the opposing team's base, which can be pretty tough at times. The best part about this game mode is is the fact that if you are good enough, you can get you can get two easy kills in the very beginning. You be up three or four to two people advantage, and you can um, simply just take the rainmaker and run. I've had times where I grabbed the rainmaker, and it's over because by the time they get regrouped and all that, I'm already at twenty. And it's just a simple shot that can take out a whole team. Now, biggest thing you can do in this game mode is flank. I love about I love the fact that you can flank people, and it's just awesome. So, yeah, that is Rainmaker. And now our final, or not our final section, but next to final section is Salmon Run. Salmon Run is a new game mode. It wasn't in the previous one, so no really backstory. It's just Salmonids, they hold these orbs things, eggs, and they have also boss Salmonids, which um can destroy you. Those are m more likely to destroy you, but always a nice rush of people can get you. Like, there's bosses... And Salmon Run basically takes the fundamentals into a clear, cool way. Like, I like how the Fly Fish uses the Tenta Missiles, and the Stinger uses the Stingray. It's just very clever, and it's a really good way to get better. But, but one thing I don't like is where it gets night, and it's a total madness. Like, there's a bunch of Goldies and Chums and small fries and it's crazy it's unbeatable and it's yeah well that salmon run for you is it uh, yeah i mean it's, well i think in a future update they should make it more open or at least you can host private salmon run lobbies because you can't even do that when it's closed it's closed nothing sometimes you want to host a private one that's one thing they could fix in a future update and um, finally, least but not, last but not least is, um, the weapons. There are many weapon types, I can't exactly count them out, but there's blasters, there's shooters, there's dualies, there's rollers, there's chargers, there's rollers, I don't know, I, there's so many to choose from. This game has a couple new features, the narrow flick with the rollers, you can hold your charge with the chargers and um favorite thing is the dodge roll of the dualies even though i don't use dualies that much but i still think that is a great idea now my favorite weapon right now is between the flings the roller and the splatter shot but by far the best weapon in the game that will definitely get a nerf is the Aerospray MG I had in my previous video, and you guys should have seen it. It was the number one weapon. It was just, it's just so good at take. It can change a match with the curling bomb thing, and the thing is made to clear ink. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more content. Peace out.